we're going to be asking for a very long sentence. I can tell you that. Happening today, the man known as Brian Kill will be sentenced in federal court. You just heard Josh Minkler, who was the U.S. attorney, when Buster Hernandez pled guilty last February to extorting young girls around the world. At least six of them are from Indiana. Hernandez also created a lot of panic, threatening mass casualties at two high schools and the shops at Perry Crossing in Plainfield and the big movie theater there. Today's sentencing is at the federal courthouse downtown. And that is where we find our Eric Pointer. He's live. Eric, what can you tell us about these victims? So there were 12 girls from the ages of 12 to 15, and they were from here in Indiana, Florida, Michigan, and at least two other countries. And we're told there may be many, many more victims. Now, his charges include child pornography, threats, extortion, and witness tampering. And starting back from 2012, he contacted the victims through various social media accounts with over 300 different accounts. And he would demand sexually explicit videos and photos and threaten to murder, rape, kidnap and hurt them if they didn't give him what he wanted. And one of those threats was at the shops at Perry's where he threatened to bring a gun and explosives to the mall. He named a certain teenager in those threats saying it was her fault. He also made threats to Plainfield and Danville high schools between late 2015 and early 2016. All threats caused the evacuation and closures of the schools and several businesses. Hernandez preyed on the girls, their families, the schools in central Indiana, while he also taunted the FBI and other investigators. Hernandez reportedly told prosecutors he wanted to be the worst cyber terrorist who ever lived. Now today he is expected to get a life sentence and be ordered to pay restitution to those victims. And after the hearing, we're expecting a news conference to hear from the assistant U.S. Attorney General who prosecuted the case, as well as investigators from the FBI, from the Indiana State Police, and from Plainsfield and Brownsburg Police Departments. Live downtown, Eric Pointer, Fox 59 News.